and an S turn would be simply, let's say, you're flying along real world, and let's say that little square in front of us right now. We had to get in there because we had an engine failure right now and everywhere else was trees but that square. Something that's not in the PTS, some instructors will teach you, some maybe not, is S turns. Because you're gonna go out and you're gonna learn straight ins and 180s and 90s and all these other different things. We understand training to a standard and we believe in it and we do it and we teach it. But we also wanna try to give you some scenarios to make you think, to give you options to think outside the box. Because if that engine really quits, you gotta do whatever you gotta do to try to make right. that spot, whatever, whatever spot that may be. All right, so here we are set up. We're at 1500, we're cruising 80. Everything's looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delay my entry. You can't really see five because it's a turf runway and it's covered with snow, but I've got my spot picked out, which we were we landed on it earlier. So we've got some marks down there now, kind of where the fence line starts there. And I'm just gonna delay that entry and we're gonna do a couple S turns to try to hit that spot. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Come to the right, got my scan going already. Good, coming back left. A little bit out of trim, get my airspeed going. Coming back to the right. Flare, throttle's coming back in. Oh, nice. Very nice, I don't know, hopefully you can see that in the camera, those the marks were in the snow, and he... I am about one... Departing runway two I am less than a fuselage length away from where we sat down. Nice. Actually, it's right here. See him right outside my window here. So I'm... Very nice. I'm less than a fuselage away from where we landed earlier, less than uh, where I wanted to touch down. You know, in real life, you might be in that turn all the way down to 50 feet above the ground and then finally uh, straighten it out and flare. So, and that's kind of what happened there. We were, you know, I kind of... Made that last minute turn and then we flared right there at the bottom. That was nice. Perfect. If you haven't done those with your instructor yet, ask ask your instructor to yeah. do some S turns. Again, it's giving you some food for thought, another tool for your toolbox. Something you could do if you ever really had that engine failure. Go down below to grab that free PDF of the helicopter maneuver guide. Brought to you by Helicopter Online Ground School.